natural philosophy is the field of philosophy which examines the phenomena of the natural world. It is regarded and called in today's world as physics, biology, and other natural sciences. Aristotle was strongly interested in the natural world. He spent most of his time researching and analyzing natural sciences, such as astronomy, meteorology, chemistry, zoology, and physics, and many other sciences. To a large extent, Aristotle was responsible for developing these sciences as individual fields of inquiry and study. He was an admirer of nature, and he was endlessly fascinated with it, and he went a long way toward classifying the plants and animals of Greece through observation and anatomical dissection. According to Aristotle's physics, there are five elements of nature that naturally move toward their default natural place. They are earth which is cold and dry, fire which is hot and dry, water which is cold and wet, air which is hot and wet, and ether which is the divine substance that makes up the stars and planets. In his book, Meteorology, Aristotle explores the nature of earth and the oceans including earthquakes, lightning, comets, and the also the Milky Way. The Anima is another treatise written by Aristotle, in which he discusses the soul, and which is perhaps the first book ever written on psychology. In this book, Aristotle argued that the mind is essentially the purposeful functioning of the nervous system. He deeply studied human nature, and he considered literature and art, such as comedy and poetry, as humans' greatest inventions and which are among man's major advantages over animals. Aristotle view music and dance for example to be essentially imitative, even though such imitation is natural to mankind. Aristotle's scientific method was based crucially on observation. Due to the absence of concepts such as mass, force, velocity, and giving his insistence on simple observation, rather than strict scientific method, his conclusions are a mixture of precocious accuracy and curious errors and have been doomed to be inadequate. However his systematic investigation research into natural phenomena arguably marks the birth of empirical science. In the end, I hope I have covered all the points of Aristotle's philosophy. Please guys help me by liking this video. Thank you for your support.